So choosing the right goggles can be very confusing. There are just so many to choose from. Do you want racer goggles, open water goggles, masks, clear lenses, polarized lenses, goggles with seals or without seals? Some goggles now even display the data inside the lens that telling you how far and how fast you've been swimming. So this video is to help clear up any confusion and explain the main goggle types and which ones you should consider. Also as a bonus, we're giving away a brand new pair of Swans goggles to one lucky viewer. So watch to the end to find out how to be in with a shout of getting hold of them. So it's incredible just how many different types of goggles are out there. There are hundreds of different types, models and variations, and we wanna help you choose the right ones so you can enjoy your swimming without stopping every few minutes to empty water out of them. Okay, so let's make a start. So most of you will be looking for goggles for either open water swimming or pool swimming. Some swimmers will use the same goggles for both, but there's good reasons to have different goggles for each. And we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So let's start with pool goggles. Now there's a couple of different types. There's regular goggles, and these are kind of regular goggles here. And these are kind of more everyday goggles for training and just general use. You can actually race in these, of course, and swim in the open water, but they're really designed for general use in the pool. You then get racing goggles, which are very similar to pool goggles, but are generally a, bit, a little bit more refined in terms of shape. They're normally a sleeker look and sit a little bit more low profile on the face. It makes them a bit more streamlined and therefore, because they're racing goggles, hopefully a little bit faster. When it comes to open water goggles, generally the idea is that you're trying to increase your range of vision, your, your field of view, if you like, because you no longer have a, a line at the bottom of the pool to follow and very often you won't be able to navigate without lifting your head out of the water. So for this reason, open water goggles are all about being able to see well. And this leads us to the main types of open water goggles. So the first type is effectively just large goggles. So they're like pool goggles, like the standard goggles, but just a little bit bigger. And again, to give you a larger field of view. Very often the regular goggles will have sides on them that allows you to see a little bit more around the kind of the corner. So it increases your peripheral vision because sometimes you want to be able to see to the side in case you want to sight somebody else or look at a boy. Um, so they often have this uh, like kind of curved surface to them. And you can see that on these um, swans goggles here. You also get masks, swimming masks. And as the name suggests, this is another step up on the goggle size. And the masks generally fit across both eyes. So both eyes are in the same space, if you like, rather than having one eye in each space, as you do in goggles. Um, and this, again, increases the field of view and actually reduces the chances of them steaming up a little bit. Okay, lastly, electronic goggles. I'm not sure what else to call them, but that's, that's what I'm calling them for today. Um, these are the goggles I described earlier. These ones are actually from Form, and they have uh, a little display inside of them. So it actually means that you can, within the screen itself, in, the, in your field of view, you can actually see the pace and the distance and how many lengths you've swum and all that kind of stuff. So lots more information actually while you're swimming. So it's the first time that swimmers have really had that kind of access to information while they're swimming. So it's a bit of a, a, bit of a game changer. They can be a little bit pricey. They're a couple of hundred pounds at the moment. Uh, and hopefully the prices will come down on those, but uh, that's something for you to consider if it's in your kind of budget. So also on top of the different types of goggles, there's different types of lenses for each. Now there's clear goggles, there's tinted, mirrored, polarized, and photochromic. Now, if we start with photochromic, the idea of photochromic is that they change how much light they let in. So they get a little bit darker when it's bright and vice versa. So they're really good for open water. If it's gonna be kind of changeable conditions, it's sunny, but there's some cloud and some maybe some tree cover, photochromic glasses, or goggles, sorry, can really help with that because they will change and adapt with the environment. So polarized lenses, what they do is they allow you to kind of see through the water a little bit better. So they take some of the, some of the sheen off the water, if you like, some of the glare, and allow you to see a little bit more clearly. Then you also have clear lenses, as the name suggests, they're clear. And the idea with clear lenses is that if you are swimming again outdoors, say, and the light is a little bit low, then obviously you'll be able to see as much as you can with the clear lenses in. Sometimes if you wear tinted lenses and you're outside and the light gets low, you really can struggle to see. Finally, just to finish off, there are different colored lenses too. Now, the thing with different colored lenses is that they allow you to see different colored light slightly differently. So for example, you may be swimming and have a particular colored boy that you might struggle to see. Uh, I don't know, it might be a blue boy in, in obviously in the water. 
So there may be some particular colored lenses that will enhance that color of blue. And it's the same for other colors. So it's, the best thing to do is experiment with different colored lenses. It's a bit like having a filter on the front of a camera. It changes the overall look of what you will see. So it's worth experimenting with. Anyway, so I hope you found that useful. That's all we're gonna go through today, just a quick summary. Um, if you did find it useful, please click the button to subscribe and press the bell to be notified of new videos. Also, if you're suffering from leaky goggles and want to know how to stop this irritating problem, click the link just up here. Finally, thank you to the guys over at Swans for providing us with a pair of goggles to give away to one lucky viewer. All you need to do to be in with a shout of getting hold of those is put your comment down below. Let us know which goggles you swim with at the moment, how you find them, and pick somebody out at random, get in contact with you, and get you a brand new pair of Swans goggles over. But anyway, that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.